So today I'm going to be showing you how I make albondigas and of course I like to customize it to my own liking by adding more veggies but some people just like to add very few it's up to you so uh, if you want to learn how I make my albondigas keep on watching and I'll go ahead and list everything down below if you guys have any questions feel free to ask. So now I'm going to add some cilantro. My husband loves cilantro so I'm going to add a lot of it but you can customize it depending on what ingredients you like. And I'm also going to be adding some onion and some oregano leaves and garlic powder. So I added the onion and cilantro now I'm going to add some uh, dry oregano leaves just because that's what I have. I love oregano so I add a good amount and some garlic powder. So to that I'm going to be adding about half a cup of rice, usually I would have added white rice but I'm just going to be adding some uh, brown rice and some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to be mixing all these ingredients with clean hands and the egg is going to help everything stick together. start making media sized balls it's up to you what size you want them and now that we have the water boiling I'm gonna throw them in Go ahead and remove any of this white that's on the top. That's some of the fat we don't want. It's not much, but we want to remove it anyways. So now while that is boiling, we are going to make the flavor. So I'm going to add uh, this much onion and the water. I have about 20, how much is that? 23 ounces of water. I'm going to add two small tomatoes and then two tablespoons of this. Uh, Toma uh, tomato flavor and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that so in this bowl I added some a uh, little bit of coconut oil and I'm gonna add in our tomato soup And mix this in medium heat for about 10 minutes and then we're going to add it into our albondigas. So we're going to mix this, we're going to stir this for about 5 to 10 minutes just to when it comes to a boil and then we're going to pour it into our uh, veggies and albondigas. I thought I was recording but I wasn't, sorry guys. So I added the tomato and the onion soup to this and then I added one zucchini chopped in this size some people add them bigger but I like them kind of in bite sizes and then I added two small potatoes two celery stalks and some green beans you pretty much can customize it 
but you definitely want to add uh, the carrots and the celery just because it adds such a great flavor to soups but other than that you can you know leave the celery leave the green beans out whatever you would like uh, add more things this is what just what I added today so everything is in there now I'm gonna have it on medium heat as you guys can see the little um, ground beef balls are ready and I added the veggies at the end just because they cook right away and by this point the curry is nice and tender so our albondigas are all ready So you can go ahead and eat it like this, or you can pair it with some rice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a like and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!